Welcome back to Off the Record with eminent theatre personality and the voice of Chennai as he is known, PC Ramakrishna. When I'm with Ram on stage, I feel terribly insecure about my voice because I remember the first play we did, I was very young, very gawky and I remember the reviewer saying something very nasty about my voice. Oh, I can assure you they've said very nasty things about me too. Uh, I, I'd like you to tell us that anecdote about Macbeth. <laughs> yes, yes, I played uh, uh, eminently forgettable uh, play that I did. I, I, I was chosen to play Macbeth because it was an English director who was the head of the British Council at that time. And he chose me to play Macbeth purely because I could remember the lines. And I was only 26 at that time. I had no clue as to what Macbeth was or what made him Macbeth and what it was to be dominated by a woman. Uh, I was just married. I had no ah. clue. <laughs> you found out soon. Didn't you? <laughs> no, I, no I, I wouldn't say that. But whatever, I had no idea as to what a domineering or dominating woman could be. And certainly I realized of all of Shakespeare's plays, Macbeth is you know, just 55, 56. He is next to the CEO. Mm -hmm. And you have a here an ambitious wife saying, why can't you be the CEO? And he has to be moved by that ambition. And I had no idea. Uh, and it was disaster as an actor and at the end of it there was this review which said uh, we, there were so many things about Macbeth we did not like the furniture the the XYZ and Macbeth <laughs> but I think over the years uh, we've all become very immune to these reviews we've become very thick-skinned <laughs> uh, I don't know about immunity but certainly I have learned to regard a review as valid being one person's opinion. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, this, there is a reviewer and he or she has a valid opinion, hopefully, if he or she is honest. And it's an opinion. It need not be the opinion shared by others. So long as you're able to look at it as one person's opinion and not let your career be influenced by that and continue to do honestly uh, what you are doing, I think it, you're, you're okay. Of course it hurts. But what I've noticed is that uh, certain reviewers are also quite enamored with their own wit and their way with words. So the review becomes more of them trying to say that I can be witty with my review. And I don't know if it's actually a very objective well, as, assessment. As an, as an actor, yeah. uh, I would refrain from making that kind of quality comment uh, uh, because I respect reviewers and I do want to believe that they are honest. Um, but what happens in Chennai, where you've done theatre for let's say 30 years or 40 years, the reviewer tends to know you socially. So sometimes what happens in a review is they look at you playing a character more as you mm -hmm. they know socially than you playing the character. And that maybe tempers their review a bit. But that's about it. Ultimately the test is how the audience likes you. Yeah. And if the audience liked the play and believed you as a character, that's enough for me. And um, looking at the audiences that come in, I, I was really uh, very, very pleased to see the audience at uh, Swami and his friends. Yes. What, is, what has been your favourite play, Ram? You've done so many now. As an actor, I would put Adhe Adhure very high because that enabled me to play five characters in the same play. It's five men operating in the mind of this woman. Uh, there are other plays which Mercy. you mentioned, uh, uh, Dance Like a Man. Yes. It's a favourite play of mine where the device used by Mahesh for the character to move from being son to father by the sh switch oh, of the shawl exactly. uh, is very interesting and the seamless move between the past and the present interested me. Uh, for, a, for a totally different reason, I enjoyed playing uh, Malvolio in Twelfth Night. Hmm. And uh, yes, I... I have a very great fondness, for very obvious reasons, for Mercy, which was a solo theatre effort I did in 2005 as a celebration of 50 years of Madras players. I had adapted myself Shiva Shankari's novel, Karunai Kole, uh, as Mercy, and I did it. So it's, it has a very special place in my heart. Um, so Adi Adhure, I've said, Faith Healer was one well, recent I, I play like that, that I did, much, yeah. uh, which I enjoyed greatly and uh, Swami and Friends and Five Points Someone, I enjoyed also for different reasons because it enabled me to interact with very young yeah, talent. Yes, which we have an abundance of right now. And it's this that time. which brought audiences clamoring to, and asking for more. Mm -hmm. Five Points Someone ran 27 shows here in Bangalore and Hyderabad. We went to Calcutta. Uh, A, because of 
the book itself which people had read and secondly it was a tremendous adaptation by Nikhila Keshavan and was directed by her. So also with Swami and friends, Amanasi Subramaniam adapted it, Aruna Ganeshram, both very young directors in their 20s and directing old fossils like us. <laughs> huh? So. Uh, yeah. It was a very, very good experience. You have no, no, absolutely no right to say that considering the fan following that you have. Well, I don't know. People like fossils, <laughs> paleontologists, archaeologists, <laughs> anthropologists yeah. like fossils, I'm sure. Uh, so what made you give up your full-time job? I know you've, you graduated out of IIM and you were working for a No, corporate. a correction. I did not graduate out of IIM. I joined IIM. Oh, really? I didn't yes, know yes. that. Yeah. You didn't? Uh, I joined IIM and found that there was so, ma so much mathematics in it and I had no mathematics to save my life. I had given up mathematics in sixth standard, which was allowable in a senior Cambridge syllabus in Calcutta. And this was not picked up by the IIM people who interviewed me. And when I joined, there was 18 hours of maths a week. And starting with integration and calculus,